Hi guys, hope you enjoyed the last episode, and here is the next one. Very early into me learning to make videos, so I hope you enjoy. Any suggestions will be welcome. Thanks. Interpreting the lights. We're sure it was a solar flare. What little information we have from half a century ago is barely of use to us. All the sources, traces, and our current state suggest that a second wave of catastrophe awaits us. We may not have much to lose right now, but this will determine the fate of future generations. We're too primitive to be affected. One cannot build a set of life and community based on good. We ask you to assemble a task force to carry out these duties. There's not even a choice, so sure. I need glass and bronze. Those are both two tech trees above me. This lets me do the world map. Have that. Have those. Have all those buildings. Move on. Kale yard. Vegetable. So that's only good if you have an excess of water. See that? That's what I'm talking about, the wonkiness. It's not touching that one in the top right right now. Well, now it is, of course. See? It's not touching it now. See, I have three stars in the kale yard. If I move it over and grab it, and move it back, now I have four stars because I grabbed it. What is that? What do you mean? Grab that one. Let me grab it. So these were actually limited on the map, and later you need to grow a lot of wheat. Which is why I'm trying to block my houses here now, so I don't take them. Grab the bottom one? Yeah, nice. Now there's definitely a better place to build these, but if I don't block the houses right now... Forget. And I did use them all last game. Oh, I just said those use a lot of water, right? Oh, let's go get more water while they build. Oh, cute. Yeah, these don't need workers, so we just need power. Power just needs wind for now. So vegetable, vegetable, and herbs for a little tea. No matter workers. Right? 60, 100, and house 160. There's an infirmary building I'm going to want to put here. The Scouts Guild. I'm going to push one. I'm going to put my Scouts Guild with this thing. Let's 
So the Scout Guild unlocks the world map. And unlock mining. Should be accepting the travelers. I keep not seeing that one because there's so many pop ups. Tech Tree 4. There's an option to start in Tech Tree 5, I think, so you can just plop everything down right away. Uh, I'm going to build another warehouse. Here. Then I'm going to up my overall water storage and food storage. While I'm at that, let's go to the two huts I have building food somewhere. Here they are. We're building that there. Line surveying successfully researched. Weaving. Start research. Basic mine. Now these work as there's resources and you don't know what they are until after you place the mine. There's iron, coal, tin, and copper. Where's the one close to the city? There'd be one in the middle of the map. It's the only one that gets in the way. Yeah, here we go. If I remember correctly, this is all three resources. stone. These would be more interesting to complete if uh, there was a reward. Sometimes there's no choice. Okay, so this one. There are people among us who underwent craftsman training more than five times. It's simply not fair for someone to show up at our door tomorrow and immediately supersede our hardworking fellows. We demand that you solve this matter with a regulation to give extra benefits to those who have lived and worked here for longer. I'm of the thinking that if you failed craftsman tra training five times, maybe I want the guy who passed it on his first try who just showed up. Those who have been living in our settlement for a longer period of time will have some preferential rights, being first in the distribution of shares, separate participation in trainings and housing lotteries, etc. Relative newcomers will not have these rights until they have worked in heavy and dirty jobs for some time. So, yesterday I picked it's, we're going to be fair to everyone today, sure. Everyone who's lived here longer gets better. Time to modernize. As we continue to grow, blah, 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 there is no option. Oh, I'll just click it. Boom. No option. Click it. There's a lot of pop-ups in this game. Boom. Metal. And copper. Bang. Turn it off. Analyze. 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 What do we got? Ten. Iron. Copper. All right. 
Hey, man. You, sir, are closed. Iron. He couldn't reach the iron. He can only reach the pin. Production paused. Oh, there we go. You know, you know it was off. I turned it on. It's already producing. Nobody's walked there. Nobody's gone there. The materials appearing in my warehouse. Nobody's moved it. Which is cool. Grow some veggies, eh? What the people? A guest? Hi, Chief. I'm Carla. Excuse my haste, I've come a long way, and you're the only group of people I've come across. I need your help. I'm a member of a village of 20 people, and our water wells have gone dry. Yeah, take a breath and rest. Nice guy. Take it. We don't need these. There you go. Actually, we did unlock the map. Oh. Camp name. That's a bad camp name. There we go. Look. We're going to rescue those people. We'll even call it a haven so they know it's safe. That's how you know it's safe. <laughs> Did I unlock sand yet? No. Where did I build the scout thing? That's right. One. Yes, I had to click that button. Or go here. All right, we got scouts going. So there'll be like water and minerals and people and stuff on the map. Use it to accelerate immigration. Boom, 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 boom. We're topped out and everything we can make. But we should probably be researching something. Sand and glass. Stable roots, okay. Like, it, it looks like there's a choice, but really, have to follow what they're saying. Brain drain. Clothing supplies, though. I completely forgot to build the tailor. I wish I could figure out. So there's different overlays you can have on. And as far as I can tell, there's no way you can change them yourself. They're just random. My other game ended up on a worker missing overlay, not this one. It shows like four out of four here. And if it needs these, it'll be like four out of four, two out of two. That was the best one I found. I couldn't get back to it. There's a resource overlay that's also super good. Doesn't seem like, what a fucking useless control menu. There's so many more buttons than that. There we go. Had to load, I guess. Um. No, there's... There's overlays. There's got to be a way to change it, because I've had it change. This one's not giving me any information. It's just telling me who aren't workers, but that's not an overlay. That's just building errors. I don't have a single overlay on right now. Anyways, I tried to figure that out for like 10 minutes yesterday too. Almost not worth thinking about wanted the overlays. I'd be able to see like who was making what, and I want to put my tailor beside who's making the leather, which is these guys.
This is cinematic mode, but it doesn't turn off the error messages, so it's completely useless. And if you have an overlay on, it doesn't turn off your overlay either. But there are overlays, they're just in it. Maybe they're behind this menu that comes off. Oh, you can put it over there and it flips? All right, that's kind of neat, I guess. I want it here. Oh, is there another menu behind it? New season, autumn. Basic mines constructed. Can I mine tin ore yet? I don't think so. Oh, for some reason I'm on the wind overlay now. Oh, I got an overlay on. It's wind. Oh, and it's gone. <laughs> Man. I'm convinced people aren't playing their games before they release them. That's true, because I didn't push a button when it changed, eh? I wonder what that was. What is... It's obstacle. That's an obstacle. Not anymore, it's not. water. Did all five of them fail? There they are. I was like, that's actually impressive. Where'd I build that new mine? Over by the power. I don't even need coal yet. Alternative companions. Animals were close friends. Yeah. Yeah, I'm keeping the animals. Less 20% extra rations, but less pests. That's the scout messages. Training complete message. Merchant message. Don't need anything he has. Another message. Build a maintenance building. Yes, please. Gave them this last game. And, uh... 
on off, they actually just don't work for every nine days. Like it says minus 15 work for stall classes. And I thought that'd just be like a global constant debuff, but it didn't feel like it. Sometimes businesses just weren't opening. I'm gonna take this and see if that was the case. So no days off for anybody. I'd be okay if it was a constant debuff, but I kept finding buildings that just wouldn't open for days. So these all definitely need more workers. I'm not using vegetables yet. It's this one I should be using. in each building. It's long press left all. <laughs> Which I wouldn't have gotten to if I wasn't holding it to do the scroll wheel, because why would I hold it? Okay, well this is what I want, because now I can find my way around super easy. Do so I have 147 people not wearing clothing? I built the clothing building beside the leather building. Or I forgot to, but I meant to. Pretty sure I did. Oh, here they are. waiting for another few people to pop up. Medicine and drink is such an odd quest. We're so far from that. Waiting for car letter people. And I actually only have houses for 160 people, I think. If I remember correctly. You see that? You see where it is right now? I move it away, put it back there. It doesn't touch that house. The red one. But if I just move it this way one and then put it back. Oh, I went down. No. See what I mean? How does. It either touches it or it doesn't. I shouldn't be able to drag the touch in. Now it's letting me tap it. There we go. So these are all red because I'm full. Which is a good thing. I had some people die, didn't I? Didn't I, didn't I, didn't I see it dying? <laughs> Wait. Give me the pop up with the people coming, man.
Fire alert? That's the opposite of what I wanted. Burnt down our entire food production. Should be making food from meat anyways. <clears throat> it's because it doesn't use water. Oh, some people died too, I think. So that one needed a repair. This one needed a rebuild. Probably go to the research, insulated furnaces, smelter, copper ingot, bronze ingot. That's the upgraded metal smelter now. Smelter, copper ingot, bronze ingot. Divided layers. Better house, sand, and glass. I already have the buildings put down for those. Group of travelers, that's who we need. Come on in, boys. Six? Not great. We just got a ton more people. And they're gone. research I guess needs wire needs copper expansion storehouse and guardhouse wheat fields wish you could queue them let's do it man I want to unlock the infirmary before I keep expanding, see? Where is the infirmary? systems needs iron advanced metal work merchant has arrived he has nothing I want they only ever bring oh bronze ingots though I was gonna say they only ever bring crap but I'm not making those yet of them. Nah, it's too expensive. I'll just make them. So these can eventually get belts. The belts are pretty compact. I'm going to leave them room for that.
smelters need a ton of electricity. Upgrade forges into smelters. I'm going to start with the forges. I was going to put houses here. here. It can build here though. I was supposed to build a maintenance building as well. I'm also not exploring the map as fast as I wanted to. Population number currently 177. 171 of those guys and six of these dudes. Doesn't include kids or anything. I don't know if there's a way to see that. Oh, there you go. There's no overall population number you can see. I don't have yet. Build a couple just to start. Can I get above a three? Four. I saw a four. And I already have a road there. One four, then the rest are twos. steel, motors. I'm only going to turn one of these on for now. That is one thing for distance, actually. They do walk here to build it the first time. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna need linens, too. And for good measure, let's put a stockpile here. Away from where the, the water and stuff is. Hopefully there's no mine there. And linen, please. Wheat, linen, they're all full. Fill up those. Have close, so I don't need to turn the second one on. Eight free workers to do something with. We have the farm, kale yard, basic mine, pit, wells, 
all that. Forges I just built. Forges, production, smith, basic tool and wire. Yes, where's the other smith? Actually, I'll put these wire smiths right across the copper forges. Three stream streak, I just saw that, nice. Message from Scout Team. I'm gonna read all their messages every time from that map. Because last game, when I read their messages from this screen, they stayed as question marks and I couldn't click them and it broke the nodes for the rest of the game. Upgrade the main hall. So once you click that notification, it just starts a giant resource sink and you have no, there's no option to do it later or now. I guess I had all the resources right away. The smoke thickens. The air is burning our throats. The sky is reddening. What are we to do? Again, no option. Just to pop up. <laughs> Smoke clouds. Now I get the option. So minus seven health for all classes, minus 45 workforce, better morale. Fires are brought under control before they occur. Fire probability increase. I hate fire. Like in games, IRL, fire sweet. <laughs> Threaten me with a good time. So we built all that. We got the kiln for brick and the kiln for glass going. We got the tailors for food. All of this, tier two. We need the smelter for the bronze ingot and the metal works for the motor. This doesn't have a an arrow on it. Are these metal works? Smiths. Wire locked. Development. Switches and something. But this needs wire. Oh, I went scrolled past it. people. Yeah. You end up needing an absolute ton of wires. The two smelters. Yeah, metal works for the motor. And workers. Yeah, solar flare fucked up the world. What are you gonna do? Happens, right? Dadler. 
Wait a minute. First time chat? I've seen your name before. All a silent follow. Ah! Uh, five, maybe? No, not even. I haven't been able to get through the game without something breaking yet. And that takes a lot of points off for me. When parts of a game just don't work or feel unfinished. It has potential, you know? It has nice art and stuff. Definitely needs optimization and a lot of quality of life. Not sure what the deal is with these guys. They're one of the. You can't click on the people unless they're walking, carrying something. Because they're not actually. They're just animations, I think. Well, there is a tavern right here. We don't have alcohol or anything yet, so I don't know what he's drunk on. you can tell a lot with the city builders when they don't let you zoom out. You know it's not optimized the greatest. Like here, I have it locked to 60 FPS. But I have a 3070. And it's just a city builder and like... I don't have much going on yet. You know, I'm still in the very early stages of the game. fine like this, but you can see why they didn't let you zoom out. Now it's on Ultra, but that's the game's recommended settings for me. I hit their button. Turned it down to medium by the end of the game yesterday, but it didn't seem to make much of a difference. Awaiting resources, wires. Awaiting people, yeah. There they are. Come on in, boys. Be a lot of stuff waiting for wires. Oh, there's the maintenance building. One. There we go. It's here with the other ones. That all being said, I'm having fun. You know, it's not bad. It definitely has potential. scavenged those last game and I probably should have.
Like, the art is really cool. Like, can you imagine talking to the guy who built these? And, like, so the first one's a bit off-center, right? But, like, you just want power. You want it to go it works. And then the second one's a bit off-center, right? But you're like, hey, Gerald, man. Talk to you about something. You're on your hundredth one now. And they're all equally off-center. <laughs> maybe. Just maybe. We should take a look at that. No, you upgrade them later, and they're not off-center. I don't know if you're supposed to build a hundred of these. I don't have any other way to make power yet, though. So... Well, you speak of the devil. Alright, guys. Thank you for watching. That's the end of this episode. The next one will be coming up in a moment. You can find me here or on Twitch at The Lucky Leader. Cheers.